Tervan Sarna everyone Today we will be discussing uh, season 8 uh, Since you guys wanted uh, this done especially Lucas wanted me to do season 8 um, I'm starting from scratch I'm I might repeat myself it's it's good that you have listened to it and if you're listening again it's not going to be a waste I can promise you that because these um, Dhamma concepts are really good you listen to it over and over again and then what you grasp be, becomes vast it's not going to stay the same so if you listen to Anicca today and if you listen to maybe you listen to Anicca last month and if you listen to Anicca today what you grasp today is much more than what you grasped before I have listened to the same sermons by Vaharaka Thero. Um, after six months when I listened to it, I can't even remember if I heard something like that. <clears throat> so that's how it is. And then I'm amazed in the new things that I learn from that sermon. So there are things that you can learn and uh, what happens is it will um, engrave into you. So you will remember uh, strongly. I hope it will help. Um, unfortunately, yes, it will be uh, the same first uh, clip. But I will try and do the whole clip today. And it will be a summary. So it's not going to be... The one I did was in detail, word by word. Pretty much sentence by sentence. So I listened to the sentence and I translated every sentence before. So this is not going to be like that. This is going to be a summary. I will take similar examples. I will take uh, all the concepts, the main concepts that were discussed. And uh, hopefully we can do this in, uh, uh, in less than two hours, hopefully, because this has gone for two hours. Uh, the, the sermon that Abetero did was for two hours. So I have summarized. Hopefully it will take less. <clears throat> can we uh, do you think we can start now we have about uh, uh, nine or something already right <clears throat> so uh, for a start I have to uh, let you know that uh, this is the gist of Buddhism this these are the main concepts most important things that will be discussed so this doesn't mean that this is everything but this is everything in terms of the most important things so once you grasp this these concepts you will be able to understand the dhamma you will be able to see the world and you will be able to see the reality in the right uh, mind <clears throat> so that is the most important thing so um, and also we uh, i will be um, giving you examples from tripitaka i will be uh, using slides when i do the the youtube clip i will uh, take examples from tripitaka and i will uh, show that so that it's uh, proof for you guys uh, if you have any questions you can always come back and then we can discuss them later right so first thing dharma and adharma. What is dharma and adharma? That is the first question one needs to understand. So dharma, as um, normal people, they think dharma is a religion, adharma is a, a non-religion. That is not the idea. Dharma is the reality. Dharma is the what universe, uh, what happens. And adharma is what do not, what does not happen, or as in not real. If something is not real that is not dharma so this is what we are trying to learn here is the universal truth so this is the reality so this is that is why we call this dharma right buddha dharma because buddha as in bhave udura demima as in to get rid of the bhava as in uh, the sansara the cycle uh, the the path uh, the the sansara path or the the journey of life so we are trying to get rid of the journey of life and hence why this is called bauddha uh, dharma right in this 
we have to see the world so we are trying to identify the reality of the world so when we say the world we have to understand what the world is what the world consists of so when we say the world world has been uh, described in various ways using various definitions one way is looking at the 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 inner world and the outer world there are two worlds inner world and outer world inner world is the the six senses eye ear nose tongue body and mind and the outer world are what we take from the six senses which is uh, vision sounds smell taste touch and thoughts so those are the two worlds that we have so we call um, me as the inner world is me and then we called mine as the outer world we try to make mine and that is where the problem comes right